Hi, this is Josephine Aliarmore. You remember me from the last tutorial. We're going to turn. We're going to learn about clothing today because one of the first things that happens when you get into Second Life is you want to know how to change your clothes. So that's something we're going to learn. And I'm standing right here in front of the headquarters building for the class, and you can see that there's a lot of new stuff in here. And now I'm going to walk up the road. Let me go out here towards the road to the Educational Resource Center. It's called Chilbo Education Resource Center, and it's the very next building up the road. And I'm going to just walk inside. You can also go up on the sidewalk. And I'm going to go inside. Now there's lots of neat stuff in here, and everything in here is free, so it's stuff that can help you in your experience in Second Life. And back here in the corner are all kinds of free t-shirts and all kinds of nifty things. Now some of them, when you click on them, they're like this. It says, Zero Linden's Freebie Adorned Jewelry Piercings. When you see that, then you right-click on it. Oops, left-click on it. Sorry. I think you right-click on it. And you click on Buy. And when you buy it, it goes into your inventory. And I'll show you your inventory in a minute. Now there's a few of them that are like this where nothing happens except that you have a little hand here. So when that happens, you click on it with the little hand and it says free skirts, party dresses, and ball gowns. Well, actually I picked that up already. It's in my inventory. But if you're doing it for the first time, it'll have a notice that says, here you've picked this up. It's coming into your inventory. And this is the same way, it's just that little hand. But these guys that show the amounts, then you're going to buy them. So you click on the thing, and if it doesn't show a little hand with a glove and a price, then you just click on it and follow the instructions. Or if it has the little hand with the glove and the price, then you right click and you take buy out of this menu that appears. Okay. So I actually have some pretty nifty things in my inventory. And what we're going to do is go out here to the sandbox that's right behind the Education Center. And we're going to take a look at some of the things that we picked up. This, this toolbar over here has some nifty things. This allows you to choose a different avatar if you don't like the one you've got. This is where your clothes are going to live once you've set the bump into outfits. Right now you only have one outfit, the one that you picked to begin with. And there it is, female goth. And when you click on wearing, that's what it shows you. When you click on my outfit, it shows you only have one so far. This is your inventory, and we'll get back to that. This is your camera. This is a mini map that I'll show you if people are around you. And there's nobody but somebody sort of way south of us. This is you. I think I showed you that before. These are your landmarks. And actually, I've picked up some freebie landmarks. And then you have landmarks in your library. This green stuff is your library. And then it has a search. And then back to your inventory. So this is your inventory. These are the things that you start with. And this down here is a library that um, Second Life gives you that has a bunch of nifty stuff in here. So now we're going to take a look at objects. Because remember I said that we bought some of these things already. So, for instance, if we want to open that, left-click it, hold down the left key of the mouse, and drag it to the ground. And then we want to open it. So we right-click on it, and we look for this little guy that says Open, and then we let it load the contents. And there it all is. And then you see you've got some, some landmarks to go to other newbie freebie stores and see what else you can get. And you get all kinds of interesting costumes in here. So you want to say copy to inventory. So you're left clicking on that. Woo! And there it came in as a folder. Now you still have miscellaneous clothes and costumes for ladies right up there in the objects. So you can actually right click on this and choose delete. And then we have free costumes for ladies. And this is actually some similar stuff, but you see that it says no copy, no modify? 
So when you drag this by clicking on it with the left and bringing it down here, it actually comes out of your inventory. So after you've opened it up, I think this is the same, so we're not gonna we're just gonna take this back into inventory. If you if it was different, you click on copy to inventory and in it would go. And we just see a lot of similar stuff to this subdirectory. So we're just gonna right click, take the option take, and then it goes right back into your objects. Okay, so we've opened this one, we've got this one, and we did that one earlier. So now we want to take our clothes, you're gonna left click, and you're gonna drag it up to clothing. And then we're going to take a look in clothing and see what's there. We can close this up. Another thing you might want to do is left click on walk and da dance animations and take that up to body parts. I just like that. Now, look at this. You've got all this stuff in here that you could use to make a new outfit. So let's close that up for a second, but you also have clothing down here. And the first one is called Initial Outfits, and these are all the different possibilities that you could have chosen when you first got into um, Second Life. So you could be a Bollywood person, or a dancer, fantasy, or goth like you are, or a lady pirate. Close that up. Or a rocker outfit. You could do just about anything. So all of this is also available to you. And what you're going to do is use all of this stuff to help yourself build a collection of clothing. And you don't have to have a lot. And if you don't want to do a lot of it, if you just want to stick with the one that you've got, that's fine. But I'm going to show you how to do build one outfit out of parts of other ones. So now what we're going to do is walk over here to the changing room because you want to have some privacy when you do this. You don't have to take all your clothes off to put on new clothes. But still it's nice not to be out in the open. Okay, now you're going to hold down the Alt key and then hold down either the right or the left key so you can see yourself from the front. That's one way. I also had to go forward with the forward key. Now another way, I'm using the left key again, another way that's even easier is you click on camera controls and then you click on the little eyeball and you take front view and it automatically pushes you around so that you see yourself from the front. So now you want to make some changes in your outfits. So that's the only outfit you've got. So you're going to go into your inventory and into clothing and you're going to take a look at miscellaneous clothing and costumes. Well, hmm, I really like, I'm going to click on wearing so I see everything I'm wearing. I really like this outfit to some extent. The best thing I like about it is the jeans and the boots. So I'm not going to take those off. But I think that I want to put something else up on top. So let's look and see what we've got. I've got some some jewelry and some gloves and all kinds of things. So I'm going to go down a little bit and see what looks good. Let's see what a Rose's shirt is. So the shirt is coming in. I have a Rose's shirt now appeared in this outfit. So this is, when you see the shirt, this is pants, these are shoes, this is a jacket, this is underwear, and then these are things that are called prims, so they're things that add on on top. And there's your goth shape and your skin, and we want to keep all that in the goth hair. But we want to be able to see the shirt, so we have to take the jacket off. So we're going to take the jacket off. And we're going to take the collar off. And we're going to take the cuffs off. There's a left and a right. And we're going to take the flexi skirt off. And now we just have 
under there the female gothic bodice down and we have a rose shirt and that's kind of nice it almost looks like I'm gonna move around so I can see her a little bit better it almost looks like a tattoo so that's kind of interesting now let's see there's another shirt here's one called red ruffle let's see how that looks so the red ruffle has come in and you can see that the other shirt disappeared so whenever you put on something of the same category the previous one disappears so we'll wait until that shows up oh that's very pretty we like that one okay so maybe you would like to wear some jewelry so let's look and see if there's any here hmm, doesn't look like looks like slim pickings so now we're going to go down here into the library and we're going to go down into clothing in the library and you can do this if you're a guy too because there's lots of guy stuff in here and let's see what a designer outfit, oh, outfit looks like does she have any jewelry nope see if the fantasy lady has any jewelry yeah she has a necklace so let's see what the necklace is like so we're going to right click on the thing we want to put on and then we want to see what it looks like it's kind of pretty it started out as a ball now it's a little gold thing so that's kind of pretty let's see if there's any earrings that go with it now yeah, right and these are all male ones and robots and vampires okay so let's take a look at a gamer female see if she has any good jewelry no poo how about the girl next door no, she's very normal. Let's see what's in more outfits. No, boy, we're not being very lucky. You should go back in and get some jewelry. Okay, so we're going to just close that up. Now, what we have over here is a new outfit. It's not quite the outfit we started with. It's got some of the elements, but it doesn't have the whole thing. Let's see what this, where's that thing? The goth bodice down. Let's take that off. So I think that's this little guy here in the middle. And we're going to go back over to goth and we're going to pick up the bolero jacket to put over the red guy. There we go. Now we've got a slightly different outfit and when we have a slightly different outfit, whoops, let's pull this up, you want to click it as save as and you want to give it a name. So we're going to say um, black jeans and boots with red shirt and necklace. If you're a guy, you can say blue t-shirt and holy jeans, and there we are. Now you have an outfit. You've got two outfits, and the outfit in green is the one that you're wearing. And a pretty cool trick is, if you want to change to the other one, you right click on the title of the outfit and you say wear replace current outfit. And when you click on that, it puts the entire outfit in this section back on again. And then you take a look and check it to make sure all of these parts are going to be coming off. If they're listed here, then they won't be. So in a few minutes, she'll look like she did before. And you can do this with all kinds of stuff. You just go through and find little pieces and mess around and name it something and you've got your outfits. So while she's rezzing in, sometimes it takes a while for these things to come in, we're going to click on camera controls and go back to rear view so that we can walk. And she's going to go back out here, out of the changing room, and into the sandbox. So that's our first lesson in finding our clothing. Well, it's taking her a while <laughs> for the red shirt to go away, but that's okay. There it is. It's gone. Now it's back again, her original outfit. So there's lots of different ways to do things, and you've got a lot of choices for hair and for makeup and for, for guys, for blue jeans and sunglasses and whatnot. So there's lots of different ways you can customize your avatar and make yourself feel a little more comfortable than you do when you first come in. Lots of freebie stores, lots of people to swap with, and we'll be taking you guys on a shopping trip too later on if you want to. 
Remember that tomorrow, in fact today, at 2 p.m. is the, um, so Monday, March 31st, is the opening ceremonies. And on Tuesday, we'll have a lecture, so you should check the schedule. And we will also have later on in the day, um, a uh, about 1.30, we'll have our first presentation from a very clever guy who um, has done some really wonderful things teaching language in Second Life. And then later on in the day, we'll have our first party. So you'll be ready to party once you get all your freebies out of the Education Resource Center. See you tomorrow. Bye now.